Cheers, Moe's. Um, I'm, I'm about to make something here. Thought I'd introduce you guys to it. Because, you know, I had it when I was little. But I never, ever tried it again. So now I'm about to. Yeah, I'm about to. You want to know what it is? Just say, yeah, just say, yeah. Say, yeah. Okay, you do? You want to see what it is? All right. And this shit is not that expensive, man. Fucking sake, yo. I bought some fucking sake, yo. And I'm going to fucking drink some of it. And yes, when I was young, I drank it warm and it was disgusting. But I'm sure it'll taste a little better on ice, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. Sure the fuck ain't as expensive as cognac. Yeah, boo. My dog's looking at me like, Holmes, what are you doing? Because he's, 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 he's taste, you know, I've let him taste beer before. Just taste it. And uh, other people have done that. Um, somebody told me the breeds of dogs they used to breed back in the day. The ones with the big gums and shit. That originally they used to feed them liquor anyway. Which is weird. Psychotic and all that. And above. But no, I just let my dog taste everything, a little bit of everything, so he doesn't get allergic to anything. That's the whole goal. I wouldn't let him try this, though, but I have let him lick uh, just about half a teaspoon of whiskey up just to see if he'd do it, and he did. And he barely changed it. You couldn't tell my dog was buzzed or anything from that, so it's all good. Man, that shit's kind of good. Holy shit, that ain't even that strong, man. On ice, that shit ain't strong. That shit ain't even strong. And no, there's no yellow in there, guys. That's uh, the reflection of a, a sticker on the bottom, and it gives a yellow look at the bottom. It's not yellow. Holy shit, sake is not bad. Oh my god, this this hardly has any flavor. I thought sake was strong as fuck. I guess if you drink it straight, it is. But I don't know, it doesn't taste strong as fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. This isn't bad. I like this. Better than gin. Weird. Interesting little sipping drink here on ice. Because I'm a sipper. I'm not a... I used to do shots and stuff, but I, you know, I'm a grown adult. I fucking just sip shit. And it's time release. When you sip shit, it's time release, is it not? Yeah, it's time, fucking ass time release. That's why when I was on um, heavy pain meds, which I'm not on anymore, matter of fact, all I do is smoke a little pot and drink a little. But the, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, I don't know, but anyway, so I've been through it. I've been through the ringer. I got scar tissue in my stomach probably from drinking whiskey when I was seven years old. Guzzling it, by the way. Guzzling the fucking whiskey, by the way. And uh, with another person that was seven years old. <laughs> um, yeah, man, we, we went all out. You know, when we were young, we did everything we wanted to. And, of course, the parents, if they would have found out, they would have fucking corrected our ass over that shit, right? But not really. Because my folks were lenient, his were the fucking dicks. Anyway, we grow older and we change, and fuck, that guy turned into kind of a weirdo, to be quite honest with you. I feel bad, but what are you going to do? Then another friend I got turned into a weirdo, so what are you going to do? I feel bad, but what are you going to do? When I say weirdo, you know exactly what the fuck I mean, right? I, I, I kind of got a hint. One day I invited a friend over to Las Vegas and he came over to visit. It's an old friend, right? I thought, you know, he's one of my better friends from one of my, my band way back. He was at least the one that I wasn't really mad at. It for any, I wasn't really mad at the band itself. I was mad at their incompetence. But besides that, he was the better, best of them all, I thought. 
But what, what, what happened was he came to Vegas to visit later in life. And the first thing he did, came over to hug me and it just felt so feminine. I didn't like it, you know, but I just fucking, what am I going to do? Uh, I guess I hugged him back, right? Whatever. But the point is, you know, I'm not trying to be hugging on dudes. All right. So when a dude comes up and hugs me, motherfucker, you better be strung out or desperate to eat or something. Don't come up and just say, oh, yeah, long time no see and give me a hug when you're a guy. Because, you know, that don't feel right. So I kind of got the feeling from that. And, you know, to me, it was a red flag that the dude went gay. Is a $3 bill. And so um, anyway, some other some other things went down, you know, um, first of all. Nobody's perfect. Okay, I, I understand that. Doesn't mean they're imperfect. It's just they're not human according to what my book says. My, I have a rule book. It says I'm human according to these things. And whatever I do in the privacy of my own home and, and in my mind cannot be a broke, uh, you know, it cannot be a law against the law. And anything that I do is legal. Everything I do is legal. So how has, you know, anyway, there, you know, I'm sure there's things I've, you know, a dabble in from time to time that are probably not so legal, but not, it's, it's more than dismissive to any cops not interested in that shit. Okay. All right. So anyway, that, that's, that's just the way I think of it. You know, that's the way I look at it. Okay. Now let's switch topics. I'm going to switch topics while I'm drinking a sake because this is actually good. Um, let's talk about, um, what I think the reality of, um, <laughs> Uh, of everything having to do with religion and and shit you know i hate to go into this direction because it can go in so many different directions but the good thing is i'm not doing a live stream i'm not having any kind of discussion with anyone i'm just telling you what i think it's just my damn opinion it's it's worthless to it. but but i ain't gonna lie to you it feels good if you've influenced someone in a way that may be closer to how you think but i surely don't want to brainwash anyone all right so this is the what i believe I believe that, uh, you know, there's a construct, it's fake, it's a facade, it's not real, it's God and the devil, okay? That's it. The devil and God do not exist. There is a high power that, if for all intents and purposes, you're going to assume it's God anyway, if you saw him, because you'd be like, oh, holy, holy, holy oh, you know, master and Neil and everything, because you'd realize, you know, whatever their technology is, it resembles, you know, miracles and whatnot. So there's no way you're going to try to say, oh, he's just... You know, super powerful being. No, you're going to assume he goes right along with the narrative. It's all powerful God. And because you assume that, and you are assuming, because everything you're basing your knowledge off of is basically written text. You're going by words that are also used frequently to um, deconstruct someone's opinion by saying things like have faith. Because in, when you say have faith, it's an automatic just do this blindly and that's kind of like the guy who brought all those people to brazil and poisoned them with kool-aid same fucking mentality it's just you know fall or fucking shut up or die and go to hell and no that's not how it works that's why i believe all religions are cults it's sad it really is it's sad because most of the people are just so offended by what i'm saying and i'm not really a traditional atheist the, the, the all-powerful, all-powerful is what I don't believe, but what I do believe is the powerful, the more powerful, the most exceptionally powerful in this area, this district, this zone, this matrix, whatever you want to call it. He is not fucking all-powerful, but he does have zone capabilities, c controlling certain zones. He's in, just like a contractor does certain jobs and, or, uh, uh, you know, an owner owns certain properties, you know. Um, it's the same way. It's all it is. Now, now God himself, you know, like super all powerful doesn't exist. Devil does not exist. Mankind constructs simple as that. And the only reason why people always refer to the devil is using all these manipulative ways to, you know, do this, that, and the other is just another form of the religion that has infiltrated them and turned them into a, a Manchurian candidate of distributing the same information, but with a slightly different take on it. And so what happens, you've got a convolution. And you talk about the Tower of Babel, that is the Tower of Babel right there. Because the convolution grows, the, you know, for instance, one lady complained because I, I kind of patted my dog pretty hard on the butt, you know, for, for uh, uh, you know, uh, getting surprised. First of all, he was tied up. He was 10, 11, 12 feet away from the lady, but she threw her hands up like that, like she's going to get shot, 
She didn't even move. She froze. So I, I just, you know, the bottom line is she ended up, because I told her, don't tell me how to raise my dog. I slapped my dog in the butt. What? Long story short, the police came by. Okay, so guess what? I told a few people around here, guess what they did? They told other people. And guess what? Our, now what's going on? Now we got, it's like Aunt B in uh, Mayberry. It's all gossip now. Everything has turned, one little incident has turned into a giant thing of gossip. And it's fucking insulting to me, but at the same time, it's humorous. But um, that's the same way I look at a religion and God and the devil. Is it, it started out, people didn't really, maybe they had the re real meaning of God, which was just, hey, man, there's no one more powerful in this area. Which they took as, hmm, you know, they just made up, well, that must mean he's all powerful, you know, because he's in control of the entire area. What, what would that be? To the universe, maybe they thought? But no, it got mixed up. It's just another fucking you know, situation where you got a corporate, you know, person in business of keeping areas, you know, somewhat, you know, modestly taken care of and stuff like that. And that's what I think, what I believe God is, is a, is a very, the most power, powerful air, controller of his vicinity, you know, and anything under him is all other life forms from other places, even other dimensions. The ones from the other dimensions have a whole construct of technology that differs from the ones that use this physical plane. And so what happens is they meet and they cause even more interesting things to go down. And that's why when they come here, they really don't have super lot of interest, the beings coming and going, because there's so much shit they can do, and it doesn't involve just going and visiting Earth and humans. Although there are lower forms and android-like forms and synthetics and whatnot, biologicals, that also do... The experiments but also on humans so we, we there's a whole barrage of these creatures some are told most are not even interested in this location it's like a gas station that is um, out of service for 20 years got vines growing on it windows busted out or no no windows bust out <laughs> no graffiti because it, where it's in the middle of fucking bumfuck Egypt in, in the middle of nowhere and there's nobody around that even wants to stop at the fucking gas station and cause any problems with it because it's too cool just sitting there. It's But it's not so cool that they're going to want to see and check it out all the time. But in a fleeting glance, they'll take pictures of it, maybe even stop and take pictures of it, which will also equate to them coming and testing us like guinea pigs from time to time. And you can't do a thing about it. And the, and, the all, and the more powerful, not the all powerful, the more powerful, the most exceptionally powerful, he, what's he going to do? He's not in control of your individual life. See, it's just like he's not, I mean, in the Bible, they want you to believe things are preordained. Well, if that's the case, then God can't make decisions on the go. That means everything's preordained. There is no thought involved. Get it? Later, guys.